right, everybody. I'm going to take a good hard look in the mirror here. <laughs> I've been practicing this solo, I don't know, for maybe a year, basically trying to get Buddy Cage's technique down, right? So I'm trying to get that same sound and kind of rhythmic feel without palm blocking. I just can't palm block, can't do it, can't do it. I'm a pick blocker, right? It's just stuck in there, I've tried tried getting away from it, but I can't change my whole technique. So I've belabored this solo over and over and over again to try to get my right hand to start to come around to whatever that technique is. I feel like I'm getting close, or at least, you know, a bit closer. Um, so I've had a lot of help with this solo. Jeff Garden, I sent him a first draft and he kind of tweaked on it. A lot of the stuff in this final draft I've used, not all of it. So anything that might be wrong is probably me, not Jeff Garden, right? So I appreciate Jeff's help, it was very helpful. I also sent a bunch of recordings to Travis Toy to help me work out some kinks too. This video is as much for me <laughs> as it is for you, right? So anyway, I'll show you what I've learned so far. And so what we do is I'm going to try to break it down phrase by phrase because nothing ends on just a the downbeat of a measure. It's always a little bit after generally. That's kind of the kooky um, phrasing of Buddy Cage is, you know, all these scales and these chord scales kind of blend into each other. Nothing resolves on, you know, beat one of the next chord, which makes it kind of interesting. And I guess maybe that's why I like it so much and have been trying to figure out how to think like that. So anyway, long story short, I know you're ready to get into it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play that first phrase that goes from a G to a C chord with the pickup. So I have one, two, three. One, two, three. So what I'm doing is I'm starting off in my 10th fret, closed position strings 4 and 5, hammering on my A pedal, 8th fret strings 3 and 5, 10th fret, and notice I'm kind of picking up the bar to get that staccato phrasing because I'm palm, I'm pick blocking, I'm not palm blocking like Buddy Cage. So that's how I'm closely trying to emulate his tone by picking up that bar, putting my right hand kind of right close to the changer behind my pickup. Mm -hmm. And even getting some palm on the string. So all those things I'm kind of using to get that tone. Now I'm going to walk up strings two and four from the 10th fret all the way to the 15th fret. So I start String two at the 10, string four, slide to 12, string two, string four, 14th fret, string two, four, slide to the 15th fret, string one, then three, with your B pedal in. Okay, so that's how you get all the way up to that 15th fret. Now I have this phrase. So I grab string one, 15th fret, string five, four, five, roll off your A pedal, string six, six, five, quickly hammer, four, five, hammer off your A pedal, string six, lift up your B pedal.
right? So from here, I'm kind of picking up into the C chord. One, two, three, four, E, and a. Right, so what's quirky about this solo is he's never starting on a chord tone on any of these measures, not really, right? He's always picking up into the measure and he's always a little bit late on stating, okay, I'm firmly on a chord tone of the chord that's happening. He's always a little bit late. That's what's cool about this sound, right? It's figuring out how to do that. Okay, now I have this phrase picking up into the G chord. Okay, and that's blending into the D chord. So I hit string four and six at the 15th fret. And then I hit string five, hammer on your A pedal, string four again, then string six, I'm kind of doing a ghost note. Then 13th fret, I'm gonna hammer on my A pedal, string five, four, mm-hmm. Now I hit string 15, or I hit the 15th fret on string four twice. And I hit string five and I just quickly hit my A pedal. Mm -hmm. Now down to the 10th fret and I'm gonna pick up into my D chord by hitting string four, five, roll off your A pedal, string six, pull off your B pedal. Then I have this phrase. And I'm treating that string six as a bit of a ghost note too by leaning my palm in my right hand into that string. So I hit string four at the 10th fret, six, down to the eighth fret, A pedal in, fifth string, string four. Okay. So that's my five chord phrase. Now I'm gonna pick up from the five chord into the one chord. And so I hit string one at the third fret and I'm in my closed position. One, four, five, roll off my A pedal, string six, pull off my B pedal, then I have, so I'm in my third fret, open position, no A or B, string three, six, five, slide up to the sixth fret, put your A pedal in, then strings four, six, five. Mm-hmm, is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's our G phrase there. Now I have this big C chord walk up and I'm picking up into the C from my G closed position. Into my D chord. So one thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pick up my bar on my last attack to get that ghost note staccato phrase, phrasing. So I hit, well, I'm at my 10th fret, closed position. I hit string one, then string five, roll on your A, string four, and try to pick up your bar. Right. There you go. Then the 11th fret, I'm gonna roll on my A pedal, String five, string two. Mm -hmm. Then same thing, 13th fret. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of like popping that string by picking up my bar just so ever so slightly. You can see my thumb on the left side of the bar kind of pulling up a little bit. That's how I'm doing it. That's not how Buddy's doing it. That's how I'm doing it. Okay, now I'm at the 15th fret and I'm hitting string five and I'm hitting string four. Then up a half step, 
then 17th fret. Okay, now by this time, I'm into the D chord pretty firmly, right? So I'm like, uh, I don't know, an eighth note in. And so I do that again at the 17th fret, right? By hitting string five, rolling on your A and string four. So from the 15th fret, I do that twice. And now I go up and I hit the 20th fret, string five, roll on your A, string two, then 22, string five, then string four. So. So from 17, <laughs> okay, now I finish off with this phrase. So I'm at the 15th fret, I hit string four, five, roll off your A pedal, string six, pull off your B pedal, then 10th fret, hammer on your A and B, even though you're only hitting strings four and five twice. Or you can just roll your A twice. Whew! Okay, so there you go. That's the best way I can break it down, how I'm trying to achieve it as a pick blocker as opposed to a palm blocker by picking up the bar a little bit, putting that hand over by the changer, kind of using those ghost notes on the sixth string a bunch. And so there you go. Hope you enjoy this one. I hope to keep working on some Buddy Cage. I'm working on Hello Mary Lou right now and hope to have that as soon as I've figured it out. Okay, thanks everybody, enjoy.